Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Games from Scratch. And today, I guess, is early access day. Earlier in the day, we had the story about uh, Unreal or Epic Games uh, metahumans going into early access. And this afternoon, we have Cascadour, a, a 3D animation software for physics based character animation. It is now uh, in early access. So, what exactly does early access mean in this case? Well, that gets a little confusing, but basically, it means post beta. Or, uh, in other words, you can start spending money on this. We also know now what Cascadour is going to cost and we will look at that in just a second so this is cascadour it is available at predictably enough cascadour.com i will have that in the linked article down below if you want to check that out and this here is cascadour in action you can see um we can have up to two characters going on. I'm not going to get into a ton of detail about how this application works, namely because I've actually already looked at it a couple times in the past. Uh, but what you can see is you could do is you could bring in, uh, so we'll open up another one of their example files. Uh, so here, Chibi Jump 2. All right, here's a Chibi character doing a jump animation. And what you've got is basically physics-based animation. You can set up paths or whatever, and then it'll figure out the rest for you. On top of that, it also has a deep learning aspect to it. So what they've done is they've fed it a bunch of animation practices. And so when it sees a hand moving, for example, it goes, oh, you're trying to move your hand and tries to assist you in that regard. So here you can see the animation in action. So what it does is it tries to make these processes simpler. Instead of having to, you know, set each individual keyframe here, you basically just set the velocity, the director, the direction, and so on. And then the physics-based calculator does the rest. At the same time, you set some guidances on it, and the machine learning can tweak the differences. All right, so that there, this is Cascadour itself. You can get a hold of it for free. And while I continue to talk, I will have their own demo playing in the background so you can see some of the things that Cascadour is capable of doing. So here you can see physics in the scene. It's interacting with physical-based objects. Uh, so a, a lot of the times, obviously, you're going to animate things with a physical reality attached to them. Well, that's what this one is all about. As you can see, also what they're demonstrating right now is there is a quick rigging tool. So you can bring in your uh, FBX file and quickly rig it. So you can model in whatever... Um, tool you wish, and then use their own inbuilt rigging tools, which are generally quite simple to work with. You can see the auto posing and when it's setting. So see how the hand automatically adjusted as it hit the ground. That is part of, well, both the physics and the deep learning. So there it happened again. As he moved his hand closer to the ground there, it automatically turned and went flat. That's because the, the deep learning that's been applied to this, it knows how a body should work in these particular cases. You've also, again, here, uh, as the character jumps, the auto physics tool is kicking in. In, and you're going to see some uh, effects of the result. It bounces and, and you, you can see what it is doing to the character as it goes. And you can make small tweaks to it and it solves and corrects and calculates the rest. So that is Cascadour. Uh, kind of why about it is you can create animations with ease. You can use physical, so physics laws for maximum realism. You can animate any 3D characters. This is somewhat new. I do not believe it would do quadrupeds before. Uh, you can rig your model easily within their own tool. And then the AI, once again, for things like when you set the hand plant here, it just knows, okay, that's what you're trying to do here. And the physics-based and deep learning tools allow you to focus on creativity by taking on routine. So leave work such as adjusting the timing trajectories uh, to the AI while you animate. It's compatible with pretty much most programs. Interestingly enough, no Blender on that particular list, but uh, Unreal and Unity engines, 3D Studios Max and Maya are all there. You can use it with Mixamo animations, or you can upload it to Mixamo as well, uh, Houdini Cinema 4D and Daz 3D. So as I mentioned earlier on, it is now in early access, and there's like this new world developing here. So now we've got basically like... Uh, now that we've got software as a service, we've got things like alpha, beta, and now, now we've got like permanent early access, and then we've got uh, release. Now, what what is a 1.0 versus an early access anymore? In my opinion, the second you start charging money for it, you're released and you're subject to reviews, no matter what name you want to particularly use. All right, so you can see some of the news detail about the uh, Cascadeur early access version available now. Uh, it's professional character animation software for games and movies. It's been in development for like 10 years. It's the only physics-based character animation tool currently on the market. It enables animators to create realistic movie movements by just applying the laws of physics. Taking into account several machine variables such as mass, inertia, and rotational forces, Cascadeur produces believable action sequences with reduced effort uh, without the use of motion capture and above all with a flattening learning curve for users. Complemented by numerous innovative features such as AI-based auto-posing and auto-physics tool, dramatically simplified character posing and animation. Caspadour represents an alternative and new approach to the art of 3D character animation. So we've got some details on the release. We'll get into some of these numbers in a second. They're broke down in a nice chart in a second. 
Um, so that's about the extent of it. Early access uh, version. The development of Cascader is by no means complete. According to the roadmap, developers intend to add numerous outstanding features during the next quarters, such as looped animation support, advanced custom rigging, Python scripting, which will simplify creating rigs and enable uh, automation of various animation tasks. So that's what's coming up. As mentioned earlier on, it's been like 10 years in development. Uh, it was used by Bonsai Games to create their uh, Shadow Fight series. And yeah, all right. So that is basically it. Uh, one thing I did notice, my little bit of feedback, this font is hideously unreadable. Uh, so that's my only real major negative I've seen as of yet. If, if you're the developers and you're listening to me, at least give the option of a different font. This one, again, is terrible. It kind of reminds me of Soft Image, like three point something. It's just, it's not a nice or pleasant font to work with. It doesn't look good. Uh, just my recommendation, switch your font. But otherwise, it is ready to go. So if you want to go ahead and check it out, Cascadeur is available. As I mentioned early on, we now have cost details. Uh, there is a 50% discount during the early access stage. So everything you're seeing is currently half price. So for example, the pro, pro license is currently 150 bucks uh, versus 300. Uh, so you pay once, it's equal to 1350 a month. Uh, the cool thing here is these turn into perpetual licenses after one year. So if you uh, spend the 150 bucks, it is yours forever. Obviously you're not getting updates anymore. That's why they want you to keep paying, but this isn't a subscription. Whereas when you stop paying, your thing turns off. Once you've been subscribed for a year, it is a perpetual license. So what we have in terms of tiers is the basic tier is free as long as you make other under $100,000 a year. Uh, then we got the pro tier at $150 a year per person. And then we've got business at 500 per year. And then enterprise under you can't afford it because it's let's talk. All right, so what you're looking at here, there are some limitations on the free version, specifically this. And I don't know how bad this will be because 300 frames of animation is not a lot. So the max you can export out is the 300 frame animation. And that's like a walk cycle for the most part. Like, I, I don't know if basically you just save all your animations in separate files, if you can get around that. Uh, but that that is kind of annoying, uh, annoyingly low. I think that's the one people run into first. I don't think 120 joints is, is really an issue at all. Uh, but that one, yeah, that people are going to run into that. But again, it is completely free. Uh, but you do have to give credit that you used Cascadeur. For all other tiers, that is optional. And they here, if you jump up to the $150 a year pro tier, uh, you get uh, everything there, but you get rid of these, these limitations there. So you get unlimited export at this point in time, and you get priority support, and you get a scene linking tool. And then from there, we jump up, and you're dealing more with like uh, dedicated chat, priority support, that kind of stuff. And then in the enterprise level, you're wanting super support or maybe someone on site or source code access or something like that. If you're in that realm, of course, it is a just contact us stage. So those are the various different options. Uh, again, Having to give creditation, I, I get that. It's fine. Uh, what gets me, though, is the... Now, weirdly, though, they say... Oh, import. Ba -ba -ba -ba. So this one doesn't break down the limitation on joints and frames, oddly enough, here. But that is definitely the big difference between them. Uh, but for sure, that basic tier, it gets you an idea of what the tool is like and is definitely workable. Uh, and, and I think a lot of people find that they don't enjoy their particular animation tool. I know a lot of people consider Maya's to be the best and Blender's to probably be the weakest in this regard. And if you can slot FBX into your workflow, uh, Cascadeur could make your animation life uh, a much more pleasant experience. It is a different approach to things. And once you get the hang of it, it's actually pretty simple. And I am no animator for sure. And I've managed to make some mildly uh, believable stuff out of Cascadeur. Uh, so it'd be interesting to see what your experiences are. By the way, uh, you can switch out to monthly payments. And again, this one was, I think, $13, uh, 1350. So you're saving about a buck 50 a month uh, if you don't want to do monthly. Uh, but monthly options are available. I would be interested to hear what you think of their pricing structure. This is the first time we've seen the price they're offering. Uh, is 150 bucks a year on a perpetual license reasonable? Uh, the free tier, is it? Um, are those limitations, that 300 frames or that 120 joints, is that going to be a limitation for you or nah, not at all? Do you think they've kind of hit on a nice kind of 
compromise pricing here or, or do you think they're out to lunch i'd love to hear it comments down below because this is basically the first time uh you've been able to pay for cascadeur uh so it is an interesting animation tool uh definitely recommend you check it out if you haven't already i've gone into more hands-on depth in previous videos but uh yeah that's cascadeur now in early access what do you think also what do you think of the term early access are we abusing these things at this point in time let me know all those things comments down below and i will talk to you all later goodbye